Hi guys, welcome back to another Dunk Reviews and this is the big one, this is the one I've been waiting for this is the review of Nickelback's new album Yes, Nickelback are back with their ninth studio album entitled Feet the Machine that was released on the 17th of June Now, earlier on in, well it was back in late 2016 I did a video and it was my top 10 albums for 2017 and Nickelback didn't get a look in. They wouldn't get a look in, I would guess, in many people's ideas of albums to look out for and that was because their last album wasn't really up to fans' kind of expectations of what they hoped the sound would be of Nickelback. So fast forward, it's 2017 and what Nickelback did was they released three teasers and it just shook the rock world apart. First with Feed the Machine, then with Song on Fire, and thirdly, Must Be Nice. Now, with each song Nickelback released, it grew the, the hype, the, the anticipation, the eagerness for this album to come out, because these were three stunning songs that made you think Nickelback are back, and back and some. But then that asks the other question about the album. These, th these three songs, is it going to be like a movie trailer? and that where they only show you the best bits in the trailer and the rest of the movie is kind of, okay, fair dues, you, but you're waiting for these these clips as you would in the movie. Well, what I can say is a resounding no. I love this album. This album is incredible. One of the big things Feed the Machine has done is Nickelback a bit. So you think you, you believe you know what we sound with? Well, here's Feed the Machine and it just blows everything away. And that's exactly what Nickelback wanted to do. Nickelback wanted Feed the Machine to challenge your beliefs and so that you don't accept, you know, it's to show you, don't accept what people say, you know, when they say, believe me. It allows you, you know, you're allowed to challenge that and say, that's what Nickelback's done. They've challenged all the critics, they've challenged all the Nickelback haters, you know. You think you know us, you know nothing. Now, throughout the whole album, Nickelback make you rethink their sound, you know, especially with the second song. Its title is Coin for the Ferryman. Now, to me, that would maybe suggest uh, I'm almost ballad, you know, because it's Coin for the Ferryman, the Ferryman about death and that. No, in comes this huge drum and guitar riff that just sets the tone beautifully for this incredible fast paced song and in my view it's one of the best songs on the album. Now no matter what you think about Nickelback, they have two of the most talented guitarists in rock today. They are so tight, when you listen to some of the riffs they have, you know, to be able to be able to sing and keep in time as they do, they are so talented and it shows again in this album, they have very powerful, almost metal-esque riffs and some of the souls in this album blow your mind away. For example, on the finger tapping on Coin for the Ferryman, it'll make you want to listen to it over and over. It's it's a stunning solo. Feed the Machine has so many standout songs in this album for so many different reasons. Whether it's for the lyrics on Song and Fire, or whether it's for the you know the intense riffs or you know, Feed the Machine, Coin the Ferryman, for the River, Home, the Trail Part Three. But what they all do is they shatter the belief, as we're saying and what people think of Nickelback constantly throughout the album is, you know, the portrayal act one, the last song, is an even, it's an instrumental. And again, it's just, with the previous album, we couldn't comprehend that Nickelback could bounce back so strongly and, in my view, effortlessly. What Nickelback have cleverly done with this album is they've, they've thrown in like a healthy dose of songs for fans that are craving back for the silver side up kind of album era with songs for example Home. What they've also done is they've realised that they've grown a new fan base as well with different sounds from albums they've released. So they've thrown in songs as well that will cater to their newer fans as well that maybe didn't discover them from their heavy rock side but from their lighter side and that's what Feed the Machine does quite well for me. So to really sum up, Feed the Machine has shown without a shadow of a doubt that Nickelback are still one of the greatest rock bands out there. And I'll put that out there, Feeding Machine is that good an album. And to kind of prove that a bit further for myself anyway, 
This is the part of the video where I would do my kind of top five songs that I recommend. This is the only album released so far of 2017 where I'm struggling because I feel if I pick a top five, that's an injustice to the other songs. This album is that strong. It is so hard to try and just pick out five from this, uh, from 11 songs. But I'm a creature of habit, so I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So my top five songs of Feed the Machine. Number five is Must Be Nice. Number four is the one I was talking about earlier, Home, the one that's got a very silver side up feel to it. Number three is a heavy rock coin for the ferryman with, you know, as I say, quite listen to the solo and that uh, is impressive. Number two is the first song and title song, Feed the Machine. You know, it deserves to be this high up because this is a song that really grabbed everyone by the scruff of their neck to show Nickelback are back. Number one is the Betrayal Part 3. It is just a collection of everything good in rock and Nickelback do it perfectly. So there you have it. Feed the Machine. I was so eager for this. I was so hyped and it lived up to the expectations. So please, if you like this, give it a like and subscribe. I try to keep you up to date with everything rock and metal. Until next time, cheers.